assalamu alaikum uh, dear friends today uh, we shall discuss about the uh, noun kinds of noun as earlier we have discussed the definition of each of each of parts of speeches so now we shall in, uh, discuss the individually the parts of speech what they work in a sentence okay so let us uh, discuss uh, first uh, two types that are called common and proper noun if you look at the example Asif is a teacher so now here we have two nouns one is Asif and the second is teacher here we have one common and one proper Asif is a proper noun and is a name of a person and uh, what is common noun common noun is a teacher anybody or anyone can be the teacher so here we have teacher common and asif is a proper noun <clears throat> look at another example kohlu is a big is a city kohlu is a city now here we have also in this sentence two uh, nouns one is kohlu and uh, one is city kohlu is a proper name name of a city and city is a common noun it can be said to every or each of the cities uh, next example is quran is a book now here quran is a noun and book is also a noun so now you can tell me which is proper and which is common noun okay so there comes uh, a condition the first letter of a proper noun is capitalized keep remember whenever you are using a proper noun wherever in a sentence in the mid of the sentence at the end of the sentence the first letter of a proper noun must be capitalized and uh, some, sometimes a proper noun can be used as common noun kabhi kabar hum kya karte hain proper noun ko common noun ki, ki tarah hum istemal kar sakte hain yani common uh, proper noun ko as a common noun istemal kar sakte hain how example we have nawaz is the imran khan of our society okay so yahan pe hamare paas imran khan and you know better uh, than i ke imran khan kaun hai imran khan is the prime minister of pakistan बट यहाँ पे हमने क्या किया हुआ है नवाज कोई भी हमारी सोसाइटी का एक बंदा है जो भी है वट एवर ही इज ये प्रॉपर नाउन है और इमरान खान इट सेल्फ इज़ अ प्रॉपर नाउन बट अब हमने क्या किया हुआ है इमरान खान किसको बना दिया है हमने नवाज को बना दिया है यानी उसकी आदतें उसके वादे उसके जो भी वो कहता है या करता है वट वो नवाज़ क्या करता है इमरान खान की तरह करता है तो हमने एज ए यहाँ पे इमरान खान को कॉमन नाउन की तरह ट्रीट किया हुआ है नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल ही इज़ द फ्रांसिस बैकन ऑफ द कॉलेज फ्रांसिस बैकन अगर आप लोग नहीं जानते हैं ही इज़ कॉल्ड द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश एसेज फ्रांसिस बैकन इज़ कॉल्ड द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश एसेज सो ही कोई एक पर्सन है प्रोनाउन है प्रोनाउन ही में जब नाउन नहीं होता तो प्रोनाउन इस्तेमाल किया जाता है सो so, कोई भी ही है वो बहुत अच्छे एसेज लिखता है बेहतरीन उसकी राइटिंग है तो हमने ही को क्या बनाया दिया बनाया हुआ है फ्रांसिस बैकन बनाया हुआ है मीन के प्रॉपर नाउन को हमने एज ए कॉमन नाउन ट्रीट कर दिया है नेक्स्ट वी हैव एबस्ट्रैक्ट एंड मटीरियल नाउन्स look at the example an abstract is the name of a quality action or state quality action or state and that are intangible what are intangible intangible are those things which cannot be touched or which cannot be seen we have the example of uh, here darkness kindness movement laughter manhood friendly etc all are called the abstract nouns now um, one should be uh, changed one abstract noun should be changed into sentence so here we have sentence there is a great wisdom 
in every decision of Allah. Every decision of Allah. So here we have uh, written wisdom. Wisdom is called the abstract noun and decision here also used as the abstract noun. So, and uh, next we have the laughter is the best medicine. Now here underlined word is laughter. So laughter is the best medicine. Here laughter is the, is the abstract and which states the action. Which states what? Action. But if you look at the earlier sentence that is wisdom. Wisdom is related to quality of someone or something. Quality. And now here laughter is what? Laughter is the action of someone or something. Next example is Asif has grown to manhood. Now here we have the abstract noun that is manhood and manhood is stating or telling the state of someone or something. So in the definition we have said an abstract noun can be uh, is the name of quality, action and state. So one by one we have discussed about a noun which shows quality, action or state. <coughs> Next we have material noun. Uh, material here spellings are mistakenly written. A I L not I A L. Keep remember. A uh, noun is the name of uh, tangible things that can be touched and seen. Okay, so it is, uh, we may say, uh, the uh, uh, material noun is the opposite of abstract noun. Abstract noun was the, um, the names of the things which cannot be touched or which cannot be seen. But in contrary, material noun is, uh, material nouns can, can be touched and can be seen. Look at this, examples, book, table, spoon, pen, lighter. Uh, mobile phone cell phone whatever so these all are called the material nouns here books are good friends books are something is a name of a thing which can which we can see and which we can touch a uh, next example is gold is a precious metal now here uh, gold is called the material noun it can be touched and it can be seen uh, now another uh, category of countable and uncountable nouns. Countable uh, nouns are countables are the names that can be counted. It is very easy for you people. So what are, what are the examples? Uh, there were only two books. Now here books is, a, uh, is what is countable noun. Mean books, we can count the books. Another example, I have a thousand rupees. A thousand rupees now here rupees is underlined which is showing that it is <coughs> countable now uh, next is uncountable nouns are uncountables are the names that cannot be counted cannot be counted keep remember those nouns which cannot be counted example is there is some milk in the glass now here noun is milk and milk cannot be counted and uh, one day I will have much money. Money is also an uncountable noun. Keep remember, much money is uncountable noun. Many of uh, the students uh, get confused uh, in a rupee, in what? In a rupee and money. So keep remember, rupee is countable and money is uncountable noun. Money is uncountable and rupee is countable so make it clear so this is uh, the last slide of today's lecture countables have plural forms have plural forms and uncountables do not have plural forms we may make a plural form uh, of countable nouns and we do not make plural forms of the uncountable nouns but in if in case uh, we shall uh, discuss it later when we uh, make uh, plural form of uncountable noun their meanings uh, get changed okay so this was today's le uh, lecture and keep watching my videos and learn english in a better way
थैंक यू वेरी मच